How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today I've got a very exciting video to share with you guys. It's going to be a double unboxing featuring two shoes from the Nike by You program. Now, if you're not familiar, the Nike by You program is originally called Nike ID. And basically you can go online, you can pick a shoe model and then you can completely customize it from the colors and even sometimes the materials. And then Nike will go ahead, produce the shoe specifically for you that I probably created my first Nike ID pair probably about 12 or 13 years ago. So it's been around a long time and it kind of needed to be revamped. And so now Nike ID is called Nike by You. And this is my first time trying it out. I feel like like when I created my shoes about 10 to 12 years ago, you had so many options. There were so many different colors. There were even some models where you could take the upper from one shoe and combine it with the midsole and outsole of another shoe, which was really crazy. I actually did that on a pair of Nike Freeze. But then over time, I feel like Nike ID got kind of stale. They kind of started limiting the colors and options you could do. And so hopefully this refresh Nike by you really expanded and allowed you to be more creative with the shoes. Now, before we get into unboxing the shoes, I do want to remind you guys, if you haven't seen the video, go ahead, click right here in the top corner of your screen. Make sure you enter for this giveaway. I'm giving away one one pair of shoes to a very lucky person but there's two options so you get to choose which pair you want to win so go ahead check that video out make sure you do not miss the first giveaway here on my channel now let's go ahead and unbox these shoes the two shoe models I chose to design were the Air Force one and the Air Max 90 two classic silhouettes from Nike and I tried my best to imitate another very classic shoe, the Air Max 1, and a very, very popular colorway. So let's jump to some B-roll and see if you can figure out the inspiration for these shoes. one was designed to look like the Air Max 1 Pata 5th anniversary. Now Pata is a retailer out in Amsterdam and in 2009 they were able to do a collaboration with Nike and design a 5th anniversary pair of Air Max 1s. Now they actually did a couple pairs but there was one in particular, one very similar to this shoe at least in my opinion, which was the best colorway. Now that was a very limited colorway 10 years ago back in 2009 when it released and now it's even harder to find in good condition and and it's one of my personal grails. That Air Max 1 looks so nice to me and it's a shoe I'd love to own one day. When I got the notification that the Nike and Levi collaboration was available on Nike by You, I honestly just went online first and started playing around with the options. And after a few minutes, I realized based on the colors and the materials, that I could kind of recreate that colorway of the Air Max 1 Pata 5th anniversary onto this Air Force 1. And so of course, I went back and forth between images because I don't own the Air Max 1s, but I went back and forth between images to try and recreate the color as well as the materials and placement on the shoe and this is what I came up with. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely gives me that same type of vibe, which is just kind of a mashup of materials and different colors, but somehow they all just kind of work together and create a really nice looking shoe in my opinion. The one thing that I wasn't able to do, which was kind of a bummer, was do a black outsole. There was not just a solid black outsole option and I thought that was kind of a bummer. And even though I really do like gum outsoles, I would have preferred to have a black outsole in this case because that's what the Air Max 1 had. Overall, I'd say the craftsmanship and quality on this shoe is actually really nice the stitching is done really well and I think it only took me I'd have to double check but I think it only took about four maybe five weeks for these to come in pretty fast considering I created the shoe and then they had to assemble it just like I created it and ship it here 
from overseas. All right, with that one out of the way, let's go ahead and swap over. I'll kind of talk about the other one as well. Here is the second shoe I designed with the Nike by You platform. Now this one came out a little bit better in my opinion. I'm also a bigger fan of the Air Max 90 than the Air Force One, but because of this unique collaboration with Levi, I wanted to go ahead and make a pair of each so I wouldn't regret it later down the road. One really cool detail, which you probably saw is this Nike Air and Levi's denim tag. So just like you'd see like on a pair of Jordans, you have this denim denim square tag which on one side reads Levi's and then on the other side it has the Nike Air branding and that's a really cool touch there weren't any extra laces or any extra accessories that came with the shoes so to have something like this attached I thought was really cool and it was a nice little surprise inside the box another neat little detail that they offered on this shoe was you could customize the text on the Dubre now the Dubre is this red piece right here at the bottom of the laces some people just call it a lace lock but the technical term is a Dubre and basically just holds the laces in place. Nike lets you customize the color and text on that as well. So when you're looking at the shoes from the front, my right shoe says fifth, my left shoe says AM1 for Air Max 1. And that's just a small little tribute to the Air Max 1 colorway from Pata that I just love so much. I think this pair turned out really, really nice. Some of the differences between the pairs that I created versus the Air Max 1s. This lighter purple bluish color right here on the Air Max 1s, that was a suede or nubuck material, and here it's a denim, so obviously that's not the same, but the color does look pretty similar. And then I've got the obsidian or navy uh, corduroy right here with the denim mud guard, very similar to the Air Max 1. I've got the teal swoosh here, as well as the red airbag, which matches on the Air Max 1s. And again, I went with a gum outsole. Unfortunately, they did not have a black outsole option, but I don't think the gum outsole looks terrible. I just wish it could have matched more closely with the original shoe. Overall, I'd say I really enjoyed this Nike by You experience, and it has definitely improved from the old Nike ID. There are so many options and so many shoe models. You can do basketball shoes, you can do running shoes, you can do cleats. There's so many different options on the Nike by You site. And if you're looking to create something that nobody else is going to have, it's really the perfect option. I think they actually lowered the pricing from what it used to be with Nike ID. I remember when I made my Nike ID shoes, I definitely paid probably $50 more on top of what the regular price was. And I think for these, I only paid like maybe 20 to $30 more. So I think they've cut the pricing down a little bit, which I'm sure will help Nike gain more customers and more interest in the platform. And that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I really appreciate all the support. That's something I really wanna stress to you guys. Thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and take another close up look at these. I'm really just